Helen Brooke Tossig was a pioneer of pediatric cardiology, the study of children's heart disease. Dr. Tossig's challenges started early on. When she was only 11, her mother passed away from tuberculosis, and Tossig herself also contracted the disease. She also dealt with dyslexia and deafness. But her father helped her with tutoring, and she worked hard at school to be a diligent student. After college, she wanted to attend Harvard Medical School, but they did not allow women. Additionally, her father discouraged her and suggested public health administration would be more appropriate for women. Nevertheless, she persisted, and after some classes at Boston University, she was admitted to the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, one of the first co-ed schools. Dr. Tossig then went on to her major achievement, developing a surgery for Blue Baby Syndrome. Blue Baby Syndrome is a congenital heart disease, which means babies are born with structural problems in their hearts. Because the blood can't get the oxygen it needs from the lungs, babies appear blue in color. She used new x-ray technologies to look at the heart from different angles and figure out what structural issue was leading to the lack of oxygen. She worked with Alfred Blalock and Vivian Thomas to design the Blalock Thomas Tossig Shunt, and they performed their first surgery in 1944. By 1951, they had operated on over 1,000 children, and the surgery had a mortality rate of only 5%. She worked around her deafness and learned to observe heartbeats by touch rather than sound in a stethoscope. She also later on described Tossig Bing syndrome, another heart disease, and actively worked to ban thalidomide, a harmful substance found in a sleeping drug that was causing babies to be born with small or abnormal limbs. Dr. Tossig received many honors throughout her life. The most notable were the Presidential Medal from President Johnson, and she was the first woman to be the head of the American Heart Association. Dr. Tossig was motivated by strong passion and overcame gender discrimination and hearing issues. She was a mentor to upcoming pediatric cardiologists and her legacy lives on in the field.